We consider robotics and automation one of our five keys to success for engineering out cost and engineering in quality and optimal performance for plastic injection molded parts. It's a simple solution to a complex problem and EFCO has vast expertise in this area. EFCO takes continuous investment in automation very seriously. We have over 120 robots company-wide, including three and six axis robots, collaborative robots, SCARA, and high-speed side entry robots. Our automation engineers have expertise using them on a wide range of injection molding machines from 110 to 3,500 tons. If properly designed and implemented, the use of automation provides a cost-effective and reliable solution for our customers. Once we're approached by a customer about a project, we look for ways to incorporate automation. We want to optimize the process, so we look for places where automation can fit and to enhance the part quality and also the efficiency of the job. When assessing the efficiency and integration of automation, we look at a quick release from the mold. That way the robot can come in and grab the part without damaging it. One of the key aspects is a metal to plastic conversion. That's when a part that in the past was made out of metal is now going to be made out of plastic resin. We chose an engineering grade resin for this. It's very robust, you can make a precise part, and it's repeatable and can hold up to the conditions. DFM is designed for manufacturability. It has to start early, it has to be considered throughout the whole process. So when you're looking at the part design, and the mold design, and ultimately the automation and production, you want them all to work in tandem as a group, as a team. The upstream automation is things that happen before the part's molded. So there's scare robots picking components, placing them in locations where the mold tanning robots know they will be located. The mold tanning robot actually interacts with the injection molding machines. So it goes to upstream automation, grabs the components it needs to mold, goes to the molding machine, grabs the part that's been molded, and goes in and then places the inserts. And at this point, it triggers a vision system to make sure, for one, you don't damage the mold, and you make a quality part. Then the mold tanning robot will turn to downstream automation. This is typically things that happen after the parts been molded. When it's possible, we like to work in what we call flexible automation. And that's automation that's when you put that capital expense in, you can use it more than one job. And it also lends to ease of changeover. And so when we think about automation, we, we think about working in safety, efficiency, and quality for our customers. Whether simple or complex applications, our in-house automation department is committed to increasing the speed and reliability of our molding operations for our customers.